Hello everyone, very good evening and welcome to this uh, live session. So welcome to this live session regarding weekly current affairs from April 15 to April 21st, 2019. So how are you people, how is your preparation going on? So very good evening everyone. Shall we move on to the first question of the day? Yes. So here is the first question. Yes. How much amount was allocated by the union cabinet headed by PM Modi? for implementing 10% EWS quota to create over 2 lakhs additional seats. Right. So what is the amount which was allocated by PM Modi for 10% economically weaker sections quota to create over 2 lakh additional seats. Yes. Moving on to the next question. What is the right answer for this question? It is 4300 15.15 crores next the liquid methane has recently spotted on which satellite in the solar system the liquid methane has recently spotted on which satellite in the solar system yes what is the right answer for this question the liquid methane has recently spotted on which satellite of the solar system so the right answer is the titan satellite that is the moon of the planet Saturn. On planet Saturn, the largest moon of Saturn, Titan, the liquid methane was spotted recently. Next, Notre Dame Cathedral, which was in news recently, is located in which country? Recently, it has uh, caught fire in Notre Dame Cathedral, Paris of France. Okay, it is around 700 plus years old, the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris of France. Who was appointed as the head of the Indo-Pacific Wing, which is said by Minister of External Affairs recently? Head of the Indo-Pacific Wing, which is said by Minister of External Affairs recently, it is Vikram Dorai Swami was appointed as the head of the Indo-Pacific wing to look into the Indo-Pacific region around the business and uh, security related issues. Name the former director of ISRO that is Indian Space Research Organization Satellite Center that is ISAC who was passed away in Bengaluru recently. Former director of ICAC, ISAC sorry. Indian Space Research Organization Satellite Center in Bengaluru. So it is SK Shivakumar. SK Shivakumar is the right answer. Has passed away recently. He was a former director of ISAC. Which denomination of note under Mahatma Gandhi new series was issued by RBI recently with the RBI governor's signature that is Shakti Das signature yes it is rupees 50 for the first time the RBI governor's after he has taken into the uh, seat his first signature was on the 50 rupees note what is the name of the book containing English translation of the hundred year old classic Punjabi poem about Jalian Wala Bak massacre yes it is Kuni Vaisaki. Hope you know about the Baisaki celebrations at right? Jalianwala Bagh massacre which had occurred on 13th April 1919. Recently we have celebrated the 100 years, right? Centenary celebrations. The World Liver Day is observed annually on April 19th is the right answer. Okay, liver is the largest gland in the human body even if it is cut it can regrow okay liver hepatitis generally may affects the liver name the Padmushan awardee who was honored by inducting into the 2019 list of new fellows of the UK's Royal Society name the Padmushan awardee who was honored by the inducting into the 2019 list of new fellows of the UK Royal Society it is Yusuf Hamid is the right answer. Next. 
which country's peacekeepers were honored with UN medal for their service in UN mission in South Sudan. UN peacekeepers are generally called as blue helmets. They wear blue helmets. Okay, they work for uh, around uh, 14 nations in four continents for peacekeeping. So it is Indian peacekeepers around 150 Indian peacekeepers were awarded this UN medal for their service in South Sudan. Okay, South Sudan is an African uh, nation. Its capital is Juba. It's J U B A. It is the newest country. It was formed in 2011. Who was appointed as the chief executive officer of the Dutch Bank of India operations? Yes, it is. Kaushik Shaparia was appointed as the CEO of Dutch Bank India operations. Okay. Dutch Bank is based in Germany. Next. Saudi Arabia has increased the Hajj quota of Indian pilgrims to dash lakh. So earlier it was 1.75 lakh to visit the famous uh, Makkah site, right? The holy place of Muslims. Earlier it was 1.75 lakh. Now it was increased to 2 lakhs. Okay. Name the Metro Rail Corporation which has kick started an initiative to become the world's first 100% solar powered metro. So totally it is powered by solar power. It has taken the initiative, it has started this initiative to become this 100% solar powered. So which is that metro? It is Delhi Metro Corporation has taken this initiative to become the 100% solar powered metro. Varuna is the naval excise between India and Dash. So you have to remember these excises whether it is military or navy or air force. So Varuna is between India and France. The naval exercise. Okay. Which Indian wrestler regained top spot in the latest world wrestling rankings? Yes, it is Bajrang Punia. Bajrang Punia has recently achieved gold. Right. So he has regained the top spot in the latest world wrestling rankings. India has recently rebuilt the Chopal Kundaling Monastery. It is located in which of the following countries? So monasteries are generally related to Buddhism, right? So it is in Nepal. Chopal Kundaling Monastery was rebuilt by India, which is in Nepal. Jerry Cobb, who passed away recently, was the first female astronaut candidate of which space agency? Yes, it is. She is the first female astronaut of NASA. Next. Which country has topped the World Press Freedom Index 2019? Yes, it is. Finland is the right answer. Finland has taken the first place. And what about India? What is the position of India in World Press Freedom Index? It is earlier it was 138 last year and it has taken 140 this year. Okay, the position of India in the World Press Freedom Index. How it treats the journalists, press people, etc. So this index is published by, is the next question, World Press Freedom Index. It is published by Reporters Without Borders or Reporters Sans Frontiers. Okay, it is an NGO working for the betterment of the journalists worldwide or press people worldwide. Who has become the first Indian bowler to take 150 wickets in IPL? Where is the headquarters of Reporters Without Borders? It is in Paris. First Indian bowler to take 150 wickets in IPL? Yes, it is. Amit Mishra is the right answer. Name the airport complex which has opened the world's tallest indoor waterfall of 131 foot 40 meters tall recently. World's tallest indoor waterfall in this airport complex 
so where was it opened it was opened in changi airport singapore name the first ever satellite of nepal launched by cygnus ng11 in virginia us so it is nepali sat 1 this is the first satellite of nepal next what about sri lanka's sri lanka's first satellite it is so lanka's adipati is ravana right ravana 1 sri lanka's first satellite who has become the first indian female scientist to be elected as a fellow of the royal society frs in the uk it is gagandeep kang is the right answer she has become the first indian female scientist to be elected as a fellow of the royal society frs in the uk the researchers of which country have successfully printed the world's first 3d heart by using a patient's biological material first 3d printed hearts so it was by the scientists of israel is the right answer which of the following bank has rolled out new functionality to support emv emv stands for europe mastercard visa these are the payment solutions generally we see on the credit cards or debit cards right so they have developed this technology emv card acquiring across its atm network and aadhar authentication so that means chip based card uh, now can be accessed on all these atms of this bank which is that bank it is canara bank Right. Recently, R. S. Shankar Narayan was appointed as MD and CEO of Canara Bank. It is headquartered in Bengaluru. Together, we can is the slogan or tagline. Dash has received the Competition Commission India's nod to acquire the Gruh Finance Competition Commission of India, which looks into the. fair practices in business so which is that bank it was acquired by bandhan bank which is headquartered in kolkata yes next world heritage day or international day for monuments and sites is observed on world heritage day It is observed on 18th April. 18th April. 19th is World Liver Day. 18th is World Heritage Day. Okay. What is the theme of World Heritage Day or International Day of for monuments and sites? We know right. Heritage may be natural or artificial. Yes. Taj Mahal is a artificial heritage. Right. Any beach or any. Uh, natural thing is natural heritage like lake chilika lake is natural heritage like that some national park sundarbans national park in west bengal it is a natural heritage so rural landscape is is a focus or the slogan or the theme for world heritage day 2019 Benjamin Netanyahu was formally appointed as the PM for the fourth consecutive term of yes it is for Israel is the right answer Israel's capital is US has recognized as Jerusalem and the currency is new shekel Yes what is the currency of Israel is the next question i have already told you it is new shekel the west asian nation bordering the uh, mediterranean sea world hemophilia day hemophilia is like uh, it is a blood disorder generally it is uh, 
seen in males not in females but the female is a carrier okay so it is a bleeding disorder blood doesn't clot properly that is called hemophilia hemo means the hemo part in hemoglobin is missing so it is observed on april 17th next and what is the theme of this day it is outreach and identification is the theme of 2019 world hemophilia day which country will host the annual g20 leaders summit first in arab world in 2020 in just a minute let me clarify this did i tell it is finland or norway so it is not finland it is norway is the right answer thank you norway has stopped the world press freedom index okay take it as norway and india has taken the 140th position next which country will host the annual g20 leaders summit in 2020 it is saudi arabia its capital is riyadh so you can easily remember the currency what are the first four letters riya riyal right next iron vpn bilat x is a bilateral navy exercise that was held between india and dash so is it venezuela vietnam australia vanuatu or none of these it is vietnam is a right answer iron vpn bilateral navy exercise between india and vietnam next alan garcia shot himself in the head to avoid arrest in odebrecht probe he was the former prime minister of so he was the former prime minister of peru is the right answer it is a south american nation its capital is lima its currency is a sol Okay. Who was appointed as goodwill ambassador of Street Child Cricket World Cup 2019? So 2019 World Cup is going to be held in England and Wales. The Street Child World Cup is going to be held in London. Before the actual uh, Cricket World Cup will be held in England and Wales. So it was Mitha Mithali Raj. was appointed as the goodwill ambassador for this street child cricket world cup which team has won the second edition of hero super cup 2019 football held in kalinga stadium bhubaneswar so it is goa fc against Chennai FC Goa FC has won this second edition of Hero Super Cup League 2019 title Which bank has launched NRI Insta online paperless account opening facility for NRIs So it is IDBA Bank, which was merged with LIC, right? LIC has taken fifty-one percent stake in IDBA, right? 
When did Himachal Pradesh celebrate 72nd Himachal Day? Seventy second Himachal Day, it was observed on fifteenth April. Next, Government of India has agreed to change the name of village in Madhya Pradesh from Durjanpur to Dash. So, from Durjanpur, it was renamed to Shivdam in Madhya Pradesh, a village in Madhya Pradesh. Which small finance bank has won the Salent Model Bank 2019 award? So it is FinCare Small Finance Bank has won this award. It is headquartered in Bengaluru. Right, the minimum capital to open a small finance bank is 100 crores, right? So next question same which is a where is the headquarters of FinCare Small Finance Bank Bangalore is the right answer which state high court has banned the application named TikTok it is Madras High Court right TikTok application was banned by Madras High Court Next, match the following. These are the New Year festivals generally. So, generally, Bihu. Bihu is from Assam, right? And Navabarsha is from Bengal. Vishu is from Kerala. Putandu Pirappu is from Tamil Nadu. So, A, C, D, B is the right answer. Option number 3 is the right answer. What is the name of India's first indigenously designed and developed long-range subsonic cruise missile which is developed by aeronautical development establishment? Subsonic means less than Mach 1. Okay, it is around 0.6 to 0.7 Mach. It is nearby missile. Okay, it has around uh, 1000 kilometers range. Where was the 4th Resilient Cities Asia Pacific Congress 2019 organized by the International Council for Local Environment Initiatives held? It was held in the national capital New Delhi is the right answer. The IMF and World Bank have launched Dash to explore blockchain technologies. That is learning coin. Earlier World Bank has launched blockchain bond, right? It is Bondi. B-O-N-D-I. So this is by IMF and World Bank. This is learning coin. And this is a railway station has become the world's longest railway station name by an alphabet is from which country? Chennai Central Railway Station was second. It was recently renamed as MGR Railway Station, right? MG Ramachandran Railway Station, former Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu. So it has become the second longest in terms of the name. So it was missed by only one alphabet. So this is the longest railway station. It is in Wales, Wales in UK. Who clinched the fifth Masters and fifteenth major title at Augusta National Golf Club recently? So it is Tiger Woods. He has come back and he has clinched this. 5th Masters and 15th Major Title at Augusta National Golf Club recently. Which country has developed world's first armed amphibious drone called Marine Lizard? Armed amphibious drone named Marine Lizard. 
it is by china so amphibious means it can go on can take the surface of land and as well as water name the financial service company which has launched a unique proposition to pay electricity bills on emis emi means equated monthly installment It is by Bajaj Finsurf. India and Denmark have signed an agreement to enhance which sector? So it is renewable energy. They have signed for the cooperation in renewable energy. Which entity has launched India's first foreign interactive bird park in Mumbai? So it is by SL World Leisure Limited, first interactive bird park in Mumbai. Foreign interactive bird park. Who was selected for UNESCO Guillermo Cano Press Freedom Prize 2019 along with Wallon in recognition of the commitment, courage and resistance to freedom of expression. to class hole. name the world's rarest chained shop shell turtle that has passed away in Shosuju China it is Yangtze Yangtze is the longest river in Asia actually okay it was given the name of the river itself On 13th April, India has observed dash anniversary of Jalian Bala Bagh. Recently, we have seen it is 100th anniversary, right? 1919. General Michael Dyer has ordered to kill lots of people who have gathered at the Jalian Bala Bagh in Amritsar of Punjab. Largest insurance company LIC has received dash years to reduce to 10% of its stake in IDBI. So how many years it was given? 12 years. Okay, currently it is holding 51%. Right. 12 years it was given the time limit. Which Indian personality has been chosen for Russia's highest civilian award? Order of the Saint Andrew the Apostle. So it is none other than our Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He has got the Zayad Medal also, right? From UAE. Ambedkar Jayanti is observed on. It is observed on 14th April, his birthday. Who has been appointed as a new Secretary of Defense Finance? It is Gargi Kaul. Mohammed Istay was sworn as the Prime Minister of which country? It is Palestine is the right answer, right? Palestine is part of actually Israel, but it is fighting for the uh, with Israel for some of its places like Golan Heights, West Bank, etc. Meena Kumari Maisnam belongs to which sport? Recently she has clinched the goal. She, uh, she is related to boxing. Who has won the Chinese Grand Prix 2019 which is Formula 1's which is his Formula 1's 1000th race. It is a 1000th race of Formula 1. So it is Lewis Hamilton. Which of the following Israeli lunar mission has crashed on the moon? It is the first uh, Israel's moon mission. It is Bereshit lander. It has crashed on the moon. Okay. Failed to land on the moon. The first ever test flight of world's largest airplane named Dash, which was built by Dash, was successfully tested recently. 
world's largest airplane it is strato launch right it is of usa who is the winner of the men's singles title at the 2019 singapore open that is Kento Momota of Japan has won this 2019 Singapore Open. Who is the winner of women's singles title at the 2019 Singapore Open? It is Taizu Ying of Taiwan. So successfully we have completed around 65 to 70 questions. So hope you have enjoyed the session. I will meet you next time. Take care. Bye.